Hi, Bruce from Safari, and uh, we're looking here at a Lagoon uh, 460, and we're going to step through the uh, power upgrade that we did on this boat. Arrived out from France with 6,000 watt hours of 12 volt lithium, 500 amp hour batteries. Uh, the customer wants to run uh, Watermaker, uh, hot water, Starlink computers, uh, twin Starlinks on it, and other items in the galley, and all the usual. Uh, electronics, the boat is actually going to go um, around the world. So uh, hence the need for quite a lot of power, but let's look what the challenge was. So firstly we needed high replenishment energy to replenish uh, 20,000 watt hours of uh, lithium and uh, the solar on the aft deck is 4x415, uh, 1660 watts uh, through to uh, 120 MPPTs and the Scotties are 1500s, one per engine, and uh, they're solar backup. And if there's any motor sailing, then uh, one can run independently to the other or both. And now we'll have a look at what the problem was that we faced. So the boat came with a Lagoon factory integrated power electronics, is the way I'll describe it. Um, each of the alternators, the starter batteries, the house battery, and the loads. Um, all came and were terminated uh, in a uh, integrated power electronics uh, package. And we didn't want to disturb that, touch it, interfere with it in any way at all. Uh, but that presented a bit of a problem when we wanted to take more power out of the alternators. So natively, these were giving about six, 700 watts on the DC to DC that's already installed in the integrated unit and we wanted uh, much higher power than that. The alternators were 125 amps, so they were capable of delivering comfortably uh, 1500 watts each. Now the customer wanted to ensure that the 12 volt house was always full and that the 48 volt that we added as an overlay was um, charged, fully charged uh, secondly the solar is going into the 48 volt, it's far more efficient. And so we had to make sure that the alternators, albeit at a slower rate from the factory, charged the 12 volt house first, and then we took the power out for the 48 volts, and we had to do that without disturbing the uh, Lagoon integrated uh, power electronics package that was in there. Let's see how we did it. We've got a lot of uh, programming and flexibility with uh, the Scotty 1500. So how we set it is that uh, they would not come on until after the voltage reached 13.8 volts. So up to 13.8, the factory alternators are charging the also the starter battery, but the house battery. House battery at 13.8 is around 95% SOC. And then once it gets to that point, then Scotty kicks in, does not take the power out of the house battery, and we then run it at 13.8 and balance it there, and uh, we are able to pull the full uh, 1500 watts out. In fact, when you see the photo, I think it was running at uh, 13.6 or something, and the batteries were at 97% uh, SOC on the 12 volt side. When the engine's off, um, Scotty being bi-directional is transferring up to 3,000 watts. That's 250 amps available at 12 volt. And that's going through the integrated power electronics back into the batteries and into the uh, loads, windless, winches, the whole lot. And we're able to uh, pour that power in uh, continuously into that. Uh, from the 48 volt side, and the 48 volt side is being topped up uh, from the solar. So here's a view of the app that we have. You can see 1520 there. We're just showing you one side. Um, we do show the wire side loss from the alternator going to Scotty. Uh, 71 watts, very, very reasonable. We we're pulling 120 amps. It's a 125 amp alternator. Alternator was only 21.98C, so we measured that very accurately. And the, uh, we got a high side sense voltage there uh, if needed. We've got the setting set on hard for driving the alternator, so this would be really in a solar backup mode. It can be switched to medium and soft. 
in soft it'll go all the way down to only five, six hundred watts and medium somewhere in the middle. Now we have a patent on the auto tuning and the AI and how the AI works is it's watching the alternator temperature rise, the current, the load, the voltage and through machine learning learns for that particular alternator what seems to be outside of the band of uh, it operating in a safe and reliable way. So if the temperature rises uh, too quickly uh, for a particular current and a voltage, then it will set the alternator back to medium and, uh, and or back to soft and take the pressure off the alternator. That's the AI functionality. This is an overview of the system and the uh, uh, priority, but it's a true overlay hybrid system without disturbing the factory integrated uh, power system, but getting maximum power out of the alternators as a solar backup and then adding the solar in. And I've got to say, how good's that?